Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Mathematics, and today we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation, 1 to the power x plus 10 to the power x equal to 100 to the power x. And a lot of students confused about this challenge, they don't know how can we solve it because we have all different bases and it turns into a big argument, so in this video I'm going to fully explain you how can we do this correctly and step by step. First of all, right here we have 1 to the power x, and every student should know that doesn't matter what do we have right here on the right side, 1 to the power x equal to 1. Of course, we don't know about infinity, but in terms of school, it's enough for us. Okay, 1 to the power x equal to 1. Of course, this is when x is for in a set for real numbers, okay? This is the first step that we really need to know. And of course, in, in terms of if infinity, we don't know about this, what it happens in infinity, but in terms of school knowledge, 1 to the power x equal to 1. So what do we have right here? Instead of 1 to the power x, we write 1, yeah, 1 plus 10 to the power x equal to 100 to the power x. Okay, this is our first step. What we're we going to do next? Let's try to create the same basis because 10 and 100, this is really close numbers in terms of power. Yeah, we can write this 100 as 10 square. Okay, so what do we have right here? 1 plus 10 to the power x, we write this like that. Yeah, and 100, let's write as 10 square. Okay, 10 times 10 equal to 100, obviously. Yeah, and all raised, all raised to the power x. Okay, right now, we can we need to know about the rule of interchange. So someone called this rule of interchange, it looks like that. If we have a to the power m raised to the power n, we can also write it as a to the power n raised to the power n. You ask me why? Because of a product, right here, this is a product, a to the power m times n. And obviously we can swap, because of a product, we can swap position and it changed nothing for us, okay? So we can easily swap these two and this x. So we have right here one, plus 10 to the power x, okay, equal to 10 to the power x square. Okay, this is a classic look like quadratic equation with elements of exponents right here. So let's write a substitution right here. So let 10 to the power x, okay, so 10 to the power x will be equal to, for example, let's go with y. And obviously y is positive, okay? This is our exponential function, so y should be, should be positive. Okay, let's go next. Uh, let's uh, write the substitution right here. Instead of 10 to the x, we write y, and right here we write y square. So what do we have right here? What do we have right here? We have 1 plus y equal to y square. It looks like a quadratic equation, a basic quadratic equation. So right now let's change position a little bit. Let's bring this y square from, from right to left side and change signs. So what do we have right here? We have y square, y square, minus y, and minus 1. Which is equal to which is equal to zero. So right now this is a classic quadratic equation. So let's write a coefficient right here. So a obviously equal to one, b obviously equal to minus one, yeah, and c equal to minus one. And we need to know a quadratic formula real quick. So I write this formula. So what do we have? Y first and second. We will get two roots. So we have minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac. This is our discriminant and all over all over 2a. Okay, let's plug in all of these elements to our formula and we will find our a first and a second. So what do we have right here? We have right here y first and second equal to minus b. We have 1 plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac. So what do we have right here? 1 minus 1 square equal to 1 minus 4 times a 1 and times c minus 1, okay, minus 1. And all over, we divide all of this by 2a, and a equal to 1, so we have, we have 2. Okay, which is equal to, let's write this right here, so y first and second equal to, what do we have right here, 1 plus minus, square root of, what do we have right here, 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 1, so the final sign will be plus, so 1 plus 4 equal to, equal to 5, okay, and all over, all over 2. This is our two roots, y first and y second. But as I go, as I told before, y should be, y need to be positive. So let's write our y first right here on this side. So y first equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And let's write on the second side of a paper, let's write our negative root right here with the negative sign, yeah? y second equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. And as I told before, the main thing, y need to be, need to be positive. This is the main rule because we have exponential function. 
If we look closely right here, the numerator obviously is positive because this is 2. What about this numerator? 1 minus square root of 5. We know, for example, if you don't know how can we write the final sign right here, square root of 5, if, 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 imagine we don't know about square root of 5, but we know that square root of 4 equal to 2 then square root of 5 is obviously greater than 2. Okay, we increase this 4 by 1, so we have 5. And if we subtract 1 from this 2, is from a greater number than 2, obviously the numerator is negative. And uh, the numerator is negative, and the numerator is positive. So the final sign of this y second is negative. So y second is less than 0, so it implies that right here we have complex, complex, root or imaginary root i don't know exactly but we have complex root no real number roots right here so right here we have complex root or imaginary imaginary roots okay so we reject this root so we reject reject the y second reject Let's go to the y first. This is obviously positive. We have a pos we have a plus sign in our numerator and we have the numerator positive so we can easily we can easily solve this. So what do we have right here? So y equal to y and uh, one and only one root we have here yeah? one plus square root of five over two but we know that 10 to the power x equal to equal to y in substitution we may we made it before so 10 to the x equal to y but y equal to this expression so as a result we have the 10 to the power x 10 to the power x equal to one plus square root of five over over two Okay, this is our final equation, and we need to we need to solve this. How can we solve this challenge? First of all, let's apply a log on both sides. What do we have right here on the left side? Log log ten to the power x equal to log one plus square root of five over two plus square root of five over two. Okay, uh, this is our equation right now, and it, 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 because of this log property x can it, we can bring right here because of the log property so what do we have right here x times log 10 log 10 equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2 log 10 equal to 1 because right here we mm, solve it in a base with the base of 10 doesn't matter whatever your base whatever base you select we have one right here okay of course with the base of 10 yeah so this is equal to 1 so as a result we have from here our x equal to right here we have log of oh, this expression yeah so we have log one plus square root of five over two and this looks like this is our solution but we can simplify this a little bit we can simplify this solution we need to know a really great log or log property a really great or log rule uh, it looks like that so if we have log of a over b for example if we have a fraction right here we can also write it a with a subtraction sign so we can write it as log a minus log b so we can apply this rule right here we have a, our mm, fraction so our x equal to so our x equal to log our numerator one plus square root of five so one plus square root of five minus log minus log 2 and this is our final answer to this challenge as you can see we we solve this challenge and i find approximately a solution for you so x approximately equal to 0 0.2 so let's write it right here so x approximately equal to 0 0.2 this is our solution to the challenge of course you can easily check this answer in your in your calculator in your mm, in your math library it will be really interesting for those who don't understand it we can easily go uh, through the steps real quick once more this is a really great challenge first of all 1 to the x equal to 1 in the terms of real numbers if of course uh, if, you, if you're talking about 1 to the power infinity we don't know about this because this is undefined to value but in terms of school knowledge right here 1 to the x equal to 1 when x is a real number this is a correct a correct expression and right now it turns into a great uh, equation right now because if we made a substitution uh, 10 to the uh, 10 to the x equal to y we have a really great quadratic equation really great quadratic equation so a classic quadratic equation i would say yeah and we have our answers y first and y second because of this uh, y e greater than zero we have two cases 
first case right here and the second case right here. This case is obviously negative because uh, our numerator is negative. Then the whole expression is negative, so it implies right here we have like a complex root. So if you're interested in this, you can also find these complex uh, solutions right here. It will be really interesting for us. Of course, you can easily write your suggestion down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about your approach, about this complex part. But I want to show you a part with real number roots, so this is my solution to this to this challenge. Also, you can easily check this answer in our calculator, in a uh, mass libraries. It will be really interesting. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. I hope you understand this explanation. Also, write your questions down in the comment section. We are going to discuss uh, every elements from this question. It will be really interesting to read about your suggestion. How can you solve this challenge? What about this complex part? It will be also really interesting uh, to read about your approach. So thank you for your time. Have a great day and thank you for your support. See you in the next videos and take care.